Hey what's up everybody welcome to another video. In the previous video we have created pie chart using chart.js with the static data. In this tutorial we will be creating donut chart using chart.js and this time we will be using PHP and MySQL to fetch the dynamic data and display that data into chart. So before going to the actual code I just want to give you a short demo. So let me just open my browser and you can see we have our main title we have our labels with percentage and if you see in the chart you can see we have five students which have 85 percentage and if you see the yellow we have three students and it has 75 percentage and so on for the other ones so let's get started first of all we have to install them server i have already installed let me open this now we have to run our Apache and it is already running. So let's go to the HTTP docs. Here I have already created a folder chart and I will be using this folder. So let me just open this in VS Code. Now here we need to insert index.php file. Now we need a HTML skeleton. Let's give it a title. And the title will be our donut chart with PHP and MySQL database. Let's get into the body. Here we have to create container. Inside container we need H1 and here we will be showing our title so let paste here after that we need another div inside div we need canvas so here we will be showing our donor chart now let's see this in a browser refresh you can see we have our title here so let's get back now for the html part we are done let's add css file here so link and it will be style.css so let's create style.css file so here we will be writing our css script so let's do that body inside body we need background color and that will be a white now we need font family and that will be open sense and sense array after that we need a display and that will be flex align the item and it will be center now we need to justify the content to center and we need to add minimum height and that will be 100 vertical height let's add some margin it will be zero so you can see we have our title in the center now let's add the h1 and inside this we need text align it will be center margin that will be 20 pixel and 20 pixel the color will be light gray it's not a light gray it's a dark gray but now we need to add font weight it will be bold and font size it will be 2.5 rem yep that will be okay so let's save this and let's check you can see we have a beautiful title so after that we need container inside container we need background color and that will be a white border radius it will be 10 pixel now we need box shadow it will make a light shadow at the border so it will be 0 2 pixel and 10 pixel the color will be dark gray so let's save this and refresh you can see we have a beautiful shadow 
all right so we are done for the css part as well as the html part so let me save this now let's get back to the index.php and let me paste the cdn so you can see we are uh, using 4.0 uh, chart.js library and now we need to create script tag let's create an object of chart and let's give it id and that will be document.get element by id so i didn't create the id let me create the id in the canvas so let me add the id and the id will be donut hyphen chart now let me copy and let paste here so we are getting the id in the object now let's create the brackets here inside brackets we will be passing type and that will be a donut now the next thing is data we will be passing labels for now it will be empty when I write PHP code I will assign the values to the label and the data set now inside data set we need background color it will be empty for now now we need data so here we will be passing the actual percentage which come from the database after that let's add some options inside option we need title and let's add display true and let's add the text inside text I will be writing chart JS donut you can write any kind of a title now after that let's add cut out and that will be 40 percent and the radius will be two fifty and let's add a semicolon so for the javascript code i think we are done now let's test this in a browser you can see we have area for the chart but it didn't display because we didn't uh, pass the values so for that we have to create a database I'm gonna create new database and that will be chart DB so now I'm gonna write the SQL code which I have already created so I'm gonna paste here and don't worry about the SQL code I will give you the SQL file in the source code so you can see we have our table and we have names we have a percentage and you can see John have 85 percentage and Matthew have also 85 75 85 and so on so our database is done now we have to write the PHP code so let's get back to VS code now I'm gonna write a PHP opening and closing tag inside PHP tag we need to create a variable and that will be connection so we will be assigning the connection object to this variable and this function need four parameters one for the server name localhost username root and the password will be empty for now and the database name
so we have uh, assigned the database now let's create another variable SQL and let's create the query select count all so it will count all the rows in the table and we assign that count to the marks percentage and we, and we need the actual column for percentage from table name table marks now we have to fetch all the data in the form of group so we are using group keyword for duplication if table have duplicate values it will fetch the only one value now we have to send the query so I'm gonna write connection and let's get the method query and let's pass the query variable so we have sent the query and it will assign the result to the result variable now we need to create the object and let's inside object we need array for the labels and array for the percentage now we need a while loop so we can assign the each values to the label array and also the percentage array so I'm gonna write result and get the values associative now we have to assign the values to the array label array and inside label array we will be passing the percentage and let's concatenate with percent symbol now we need to assign the so I'm gonna copy the marks percentage and let's paste here so here we assign to uh, the count of the percentage now for the while loop we are done now we have to change this array to the JSON form so for that I'm gonna create a variable chart label and assign that to JSON encode so this function uh, convert the PHP array to the JSON form we need another one and that will be for percentage let's change this variable this will be a chart data for the testing I'm just gonna print this variable so we can see if the data is coming or not so let me copy now let paste here now save it and let's test this in browser and you can see we are getting the percentage values and if you see in the database you can see we have that values so that's mean the data is coming now let's test the chart data so let me replace that save it let me refresh and you can see we are getting the values so it is coming from the database as well now let's get back to VS code we have to pass these values to the data object so let me add the PHP opening and closing tag and let's echo the variable now same for the data so I'm gonna just copy and paste here and let's change the variable now we have to add uh, colors I have already copied some colors so let me paste here so I'm gonna just paste here and you can see we have four different colors 
now save this and let's test in a browser and you can see we have our chart and if you see the orange area we have five students with 85 percentage three students for the 75 percent one student for 90 and one for 65 so let me just remove this now save this and test this again so we have our beautiful donut chart we can minimize the label and you can see it is minimizing perfectly so I think we are done for the donut chart I hope you will like this tutorial if you didn't subscribe our channel please consider that and press the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos for now good luck and see you in the next video